The Cameroon national football team represents Cameroon in men's international football and it is controlled by the Fédération Camerounaise de Football. The team has qualified seven times for the FIFA World Cup, more than any other African team. However, the team has only made it once out of the group stage. They were the first African team to reach the quarterfinal of the FIFA World Cup in 1990, losing to England in extra time. They have also won five Africa Cup of Nations and Olympic gold in 2000. The team represents Cameroon both in FIFA and Confederation of African Football. Cameroon played its first match against Belgian Congo in 1956, losing 3-2. They first qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations in 1970, but were knocked out in the first round. Two years later, as host nation, the indomitable Lions finished third after being knocked out by their neighbours and future champions Congo in the 1972 Africa Cup of Nations. They would not qualify for the competition for another 10 years. Cameroon qualified for its first FIFA World Cup in 1982. With the increase of 16 to 24 teams Cameroon qualified along with Algeria to represent Africa and Spain. Cameroon was drawn into Group 1 with eventual winners Italy, Poland, and Peru. In their first game, Cameroon faced Peru and drew 0-0. They then had a second goalless draw with Poland before a surprise 1-1 draw with Italy. Despite being unbeaten they failed to qualify for the second round. Two years later, Cameroon qualified for the 1984 Africa Cup of Nations, held in Ivory Coast. They finished second in their first round group before beating Algeria on penalties in the semi-final. In the final, Cameroon beat Nigeria 3-1 with goals from Rene Njea, Teofil Abega and Ernest Evan to become champions of Africa for the first time. Cameroon defeated Argentina in the first game of the 1990 World Cup Cameroon qualified for the 1990 World Cup by surpassing Nigeria and beating Tunisia in the final round playoff. In the final tournament, Cameroon were drawn into Group B with Argentina, Romania and the Soviet Union. Cameroon defeated defending champions Argentina in the opening game 1-0 with a goal scored by Francois Amam Biak. Cameroon later defeated Romania 2-1 and lost to the Soviet Union 0-4, becoming the first side to top a World Cup finals group with a negative goal difference. In the second round, Cameroon defeated Colombia 2-1 with a 38-year-old Roger Mila scoring two goals in the extra time. In the quarterfinals, Cameroon faced England. After 25 minutes, England's David Platt scored for England, while in the second half, Cameroon came back with a 61st-minute penalty from Emmanuel Kounda and took the lead with Eugène Keke on 65 minutes. England, however, equalised in the 83rd minute with a penalty from Gary Lineker, while Lineker again found the net via a 105th-minute penalty to make the eventual scoreline 3-2 for England. The team was coached by Russian manager and former player Valery Nepomniachtchi. The 1994 World Cup in the United States saw the adjustment of representation for three African teams qualify. Cameroon qualified with Nigeria and Morocco. In the final tournament, Cameroon were drawn into Group B with Sweden, Brazil and Russia. After a 2-2 draw against Sweden, Cameroon were determined to make an impact. However, a 3-0 loss to Brazil and a heavy 6-1 loss to Russia knocked them out. In their last game against Russia, the then 42-year-old Roger Mila became the oldest player to play and score in a World Cup Finals match. The team was coached by French-born Henri Michel. The 1998 World Cup in France saw the increase of 24-32 teams. Cameroon qualified alongside four other African countries. After qualifying as expected, Cameroon were drawn into Group B with Italy, Chile, and Austria. Despite drawing with Chile and Austria, a 3-0 defeat to Italy saw Cameroon finish bottom of the group, and they were eliminated as a result. It was an unfortunate elimination, since Cameroon had led Austria 1-0 until the 90th minute, and had two goals dubiously ruled out in a 1-1 draw with Chile. Cameroon had three players sent off in the course of the tournament, more than any other team, despite only playing three games out of a possible seven. They also had the highest card count per game of any team, collecting an average of four bookings in each match they played. It was also during this tournament that a certain Samuel Eto'o was exposed to Cameroonians. He was the youngest player of the tournament alongside Michael Owen of England. The team was coached by French-born Claude Leroy. Cameroon qualified for the 2002 World Cup in Korea-Japan, clinching first place in their group which included Angola, Zambia and Togo. Cameroon were drawn into Group E alongside Germany, the Republic of Ireland and Saudi Arabia. Cameroon started with a 1-1 draw with Ireland after giving up the lead and later defeated Saudi Arabia 
In their last game, Cameroon were defeated 2-0 by Germany and were narrowly eliminated by the Irish, who had not lost a game. In the 72nd minute of the 2003 FIFA Confederations Cup semi-final between Cameroon and Colombia, midfielder Mark Vivian Faux collapsed, he was pronounced dead several hours later. In the final against France, Cameroon wore shirts embroidered with Faux's name and dates of birth and death. In the 2006 World Cup qualifying round, Cameroon were drawn into Group 3 with the Ivory Coast, Egypt, Libya, Sudan, and Benin. Cameroon led the group for most of the time until their final game, when Pierre Wom failed to convert a late penalty. On October 8, 2005, Cameroon drew with Egypt 1-1 while the Ivory Coast defeated Sudan 3-1, results which prevented Cameroon from qualifying to the World Cup. In Cameroon's 2010 World Cup qualifying campaign, the team was grouped with Gabon, Togo, and Morocco. After a slow start in their campaign with a loss to Togo, the coach of Cameroon, Otto Fister resigned. Frenchman Paul Le Guen was appointed as the new coach after a draw against Morocco. Le Guen's appointment caused an uprise in Cameroon spirits as they earned a win against Gabon in Libreville, followed by another win against the Panthers four days later in Yaoundé. One month later, they defeated Togo in Young Day by three goals. On November 14, 2009, Cameroon defeated the Atlas Lions of Morocco 2-0 in Fez in their last match of their campaign. Gabon was also defeated by Togo 1-0 in Lomé. Both results caused Cameroon to qualify for the 2010 World Cup Finals, held in South Africa. The Indomitable Lions were the first team to be mathematically eliminated in the 2010 World Cup, going out in their second group match to Denmark after losing 1-2 preceded by a 0-1 defeat to Japan. Cameroon used sleeveless Puma shirts at the 2002 African Cup of Nations in Mali. FIFA, however, did not allow Cameroon to use the same kits as at the 2002 World Cup, and black sleeves were added to the shirts. The 2004 African Cup of Nations witnessed Cameroon again run into controversy regarding their kits. Puma had designed a one-piece kit for the Cameroon team which FIFA declared illegal, stating that the kits must have separate shirts and shorts. FIFA then imposed fines on Cameroon and deducted six points from their qualifying campaign. Puma argued that a two-piece kit is not stated as a requirement in the FIFA laws of the game. Puma, however, lost the case in court and Cameroon were forced to wear two-piece kits, but FIFA subsequently restored the six qualifying points to Cameroon. Cameroon started the 2002 African Cup of Nations competition with a 1-0 win over DR Congo. That was followed by another 1-0 win against Ivory Coast, and a comfortable 3-0 win against Togo. These results led Cameroon to qualify from the group stage to the quarterfinals as their group's winner. In the knockout stage, Cameroon met Egypt in a close match that they won 1-0 by Mboma's goal in the 62nd minute of the game. In the semifinals, Cameroon met the hosts Mali and won the match 3-0 to qualify to the final. On February 13, 2002, and after a close match, Cameroon won its fourth African Cup of Nations, by beating Senegal 3-2 in a penalty shootout after a goalless draw to qualify for the 2003 Confederations Cup in France. Cameroon started the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations competition with a 1-1 draw to Burkina Faso. That was followed by a 2-1 win against Guinea-Bissau, and an unconvincing goalless draw against the host Gabon. These results were enough for Cameroon to qualify from the group stage to the quarterfinals, where they met Senegal in a close match that Cameroon won 5-4 in a penalty shootout after it had ended 0-0 after extra time. In the semi-finals, Cameroon met Ghana and won the match 2-0 to qualify to the final. On February 5, 2017, and after a close match, Cameroon won the African Cup of Nations for the fifth time after defeating seven-time champions Egypt 2-1 in the final, by Vincent Aboubakar's late goal in the 89th minute of the match. As champions, Cameroon qualified for the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup in Russia. The Cameroon national football team's tradition color is green shirts, red shorts and yellow socks, colors of the national flag. Cameroon national football team had long-term partnership with Puma. Since the end of 2019 its brand is Lecoq Sportif. The following is a list of match results in the last 12 months, as well as any future matches that have been scheduled. Win draw lose Cameroon v Zimbabwe Cameroon v Mali Burkina Faso v Cameroon DR Congo v Cameroon Morocco v Cameroon Guinea v Cameroon Cape Verde v Cameroon Cameroon v Rwanda Nigeria v Cameroon Cameroon v Nigeria Cameroon v Malawi Ivory Coast v Cameroon Cameroon 
V Mozambique Mozambique V Cameroon Malawi V Cameroon Cameroon V Ivory Coast Cameroon V Panama Cameroon V Burkina Faso Cameroon V Ethiopia Cape Verde V Cameroon TBD V Cameroon Cameroon V TBD The following players were called up for 2021 Africa Cup of Nations. Caps and goals correct as of November 16, 2021, after the match against Cote d'Ivoire. The following players have been called up for the team in the last 12 months. Rigobert Song is Cameroon's most capped player with 137 appearances. Samuel Eto'o is Cameroon's top goal scorer with 56 goals. Thanks for watching.